Kevin believes Marshall received a wrong diagnosis because of factors like his age, gender, finances, and race. It seems Dr. Braddock may have a history of focusing on people who share Marshall's characteristics. This motivates Kevin to help Marshall figure things out. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on ABC General Hospital. Although Marshall can't confront Dr. Braddock because he passed away recently, Marshall still hopes to find closure. Stella Henry will have an unexpected meeting, and it's uncertain what will come out of it. Alexis Davis will question where Diane Miller's plan to overturn the disbarment ruling comes from, especially since Diane wanted Alexis to join her. Even if Alexis is confused by Diane's explanation, Diane believes she can succeed. Olivia Quartermain will talk to Lois Cerullo about Dante Falconeri's survival and slow recovery, expressing her mixed feelings. Tracy Quartermain will support Sonny Corinthos at Dante's bedside, leading to a friendly moment between them. Nina Corinthos will encourage Ava Jerome to support her, but Ava is hesitant due to her complicated feelings for Sonny and doubts about Nina's intentions. Dex Heller will confess to nearly attacking Cyrus Renault, hoping for understanding from Jocelyn Jacks. Jocelyn's intense reaction suggests she might not fully understand Dex's situation, adding more drama and tension. Heather was found to have metallosis, which occurred due to cobalt poisoning from a faulty hip replacement. Dr. Enoch explained how this condition could impact one's mental health and behavior. Laura Collins observed Heather's deteriorating behavior during her time as the hook and found Dr. Enoch's explanation believable. Despite Heather's concerns about getting a new hip replacement, Laura, acting as her healthcare proxy, convinced her to go through with the surgery. During a brief moment of connection between Laura and Heather, Heather's inappropriate question about Kevin Collins disrupted the bond between them. Meanwhile, Stella Henry informed Marshall Ashford and Curtis Ashford about the recent passing of Dr. Paul Braddock. Stella arranged a meeting with Kevin, who had insights into Dr. Braddock's history and possible misdiagnoses, especially in Marshall's case. In Dr. Hamilton Finn's office, Gregory Chase asked for his help in proofreading an article for The Invader due to his ALS symptoms affecting his typing. Nina Corinthos criticized Alexis Davis over an article she believed portrayed Sonny Corinthos negatively, leading to a heated argument. Later, Gregory faced embarrassment from Nina due to mistakes in his article submission, prompting Alexis to defend him. Diane Miller proposed to Alexis to join her as a colleague and future law partner, despite Alexis's disbarment, expressing confidence in her ability to overturn the ruling. At Dex Heller's place, he and Jocelyn Jacks shared intimate moments, but Dex revealed his plan to leave town, fearing Sonny's influence. Jocelyn expressed her trust in Jason Morgan regarding Dante Falconeri's situation, but couldn't understand Dex and Jason's loyalty to Sonny. Dex admitted his fear of his connection to Sonny and warned Jocelyn about potential danger. Upon Nina's arrival at Dex's place, tensions rose between her and Jocelyn, leading Nina to realize Dex's distancing from Sonny and its impact on Jocelyn. Nina hinted at Dex's involvement with Cyrus Renault and urged him to tell Jocelyn the truth. Stay tuned, like and share our video to get the latest updates and spoilers on soap opera.